bit of an update. Broke my reel, the bail doesn't slam shut. But I think it stays shut, it doesn't spring open, so in theory it shouldn't really affect uh, the reel if I hook a fish. It's just kind of annoying. Yep. Oh my god, there's so many of them. What is it? Oh, it's a tailor. Bro, I thought it was a gold one for sure. Okay, guys. 45 Taylor, squidgy wriggler, or quarter ounce chick head. There we go. Not much left of that wriggler, eh? Busted on the side of the boat, mate. Yep. Come on. Oh, got off. Oh, my. <sighs> I do get snipped by Taylor, apparently. Yep. Yes, that's not a tailor. Anyway, there we go. Nice big eye. Smoke down. Heavily weighted. MMD softball. Dude, home. Off he goes. Might as well not even bring this net, eh? That was a hit. Yep. I think my plastic might be a little big. Check it out, guys. No idea what they are, eh? Holy, what is that? It's a giant herring. Not to happen. Nothing. I think it's a tail. Holy 
Holy crap. There we go, guys. Nice tail. Alright. Send him. Maybe they're big tail schools. Oh my god. It literally ate it on the drop the first time. Jesus. Jesus, man. These things just go so hard. Oh my god, it's a big eye. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, dude, that's a big eye. Bro, that's like a 50 centimeter big eye, man. This is about the biggest big eye ever. Smoked the three inch, the prawn, whole production swim prawn, quarter ounce TT, head loss chickhead. Holy man, that's such a sick fish. 52, 53 big eye, man. There he goes. I've, I know very little, and I've been consistently catching fish off them, so. I hope I haven't just ruined someone's secret spot. I'm sure I just did, but you know what? I really don't care. I think people should be able to catch fish, and I think people have a right to it, and I think it's a lot of fun. I don't think there's any point in hiding that from people. Yep. <laughs> Holy f man, you saw that. That's a barra. That's a barra. <laughs> Holy f bro. It's gonna jump again.
<laughs> okay. No, he's gonna go around the rope, man. He's going under that boat. Okay, look, realistically, guys, my leader is a tiny bit frayed. Barra have really abrasive things. I've got eight pound on. I've got an old leader knot. I mean, I'm just stoked I put a hook in this thing, man. <laughs> like, camera's on in case, yes. Yeah, oh no, there's a rope there. I got no say in this, man. Oh, he's under that boat for real. Bro, I can't believe it. I'm getting spooled by Noosa River Barra Mundi, man. Oh my God. <laughs> there is zero chance I'm landing this thing, but I'm just stoked, man. This is wild. Look, like, what do I do? He's like literally 50 meters on the other side of this boat. Oh, just, oh my God, he's there, man. Oh, he busted me. Oh, bro. The, <laughs> holy shit, that was so cool. He was around that rope and that rope, man. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. That fish was like 80, 90 centimeters, eh? Bloody hole prawn effect, man. 53 centimeter big eye, munted plastic, and then a barra decides to eat it, man. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my, I mean, like realistically, guys, there wasn't much I could do about that, eh? It went straight under that boat. That boat's got heaps of ropes down. Must be doing something right, eh? A barramundi's not going to eat your lure if you're doing something wrong, I don't reckon. Can I just say, you know, like, that was just a cheeky little larvo session on day two. Um, the big eye, which I caught literally like two minutes before that barra, um, munted the plastic. Like, it wrecked the whole prawn, missing tail, missing leg and the barra still decided to eat it. So that really just kind of goes to show how effective they are as lures and how fired up the fish were on that full moon on the full tide. There you go. Check that out. That's a good solid school of fish as soon as I pulled up, hey. Oh yeah. That's good fish. Oh yeah. Whoa, that's a big fish. What the hell? Oh! <laughs> Look at that guy! Still coming through, eh? Such a big school of fish. I'm fairly certain they're Taylor, though. If I lose another lure, I'm just gonna leave. There's a good fish. There's a couple.
That was a nip. Yep. Oh my god. Drop. <laughs> you guys see that? That was a good cast. Might be in trouble here. Might be a tarpon. Oh. Ah, sick man. It's a golden. I know this is insane, but I kid you not, there's about 50 more down there. But I'll get a nice picky of him. Smoke the three inch, the prawn quarter ounce jig head. There's bust ups everywhere, so I gotta get him back. Ugh, sick. If James made them with a Z Man sort of material, they would just be insane. I love them. Like, obviously, their, their profile and action is amazing. It's just the durability sometimes is a little bit not ideal. But you know what, if you're catching cool fish, you doesn't really matter, I guess. Just came across a six meter hole with some big marks in it. Might be able to get a dewy here, mate. If I can get a dewy here, that'll be the most insane thing ever. Central Mundy hole. No way. That's oh, a Jewy. It's actually a Jewy. <laughs> little woods bay dewy just taken a while jigging for trevally in the deep hole um that's the three inch the prawn with the quarter ounce jig head man that's sick as anyway guys check him out sick little dewy smoke the three inch the prawn quarter ounce jig head sick fish man off he goes There you go, big rig. Sounded that deep hole up, saw some fish in the bottom of it. I'll roll back over to it and I'll see if I can pull another one out of there, eh? Yep. 
That's another one. Jumping Jewfish, mate? Oh no, it's a tarpon. <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, what on earth? Oh, big bully, mate. Oh no, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. Oh, it's a... <laughs> okay, mate. It's a tailor. Just jumped into the net, legit. There he is, guys. Smoke the three inch. The... Anyway, as I was saying, there's a little halty. There you go. Just because I think there might be some more tailor in that hole, I've whacked on this ancient prawn that's really munted. So I won't be too devo if I lose it. Because I'm literally just roaring, roaring through my new ones. Um, <laughs> and I want to be able to save them. Save them for later on. So yeah. Just keep going. See if I can get one on the dodgy prawn. Hella sketch, no tail, no third leg. Bloody an advertisement for their lure if I hook up again, eh? Yep. Oh, got it. Oh, no, it's still on. I've been mowing through my new hole prawn so fast that um, I chucked an old sketchy one on. Next cast, boom, this little dude eats it. Talk about the um, diversity inside a little hole, eh? Off he goes. He's <laughs> just hanging out, I've made a new friend. Alright, there he goes. So I reckon Woods Bay high tide, I reckon that's a proper bite time for these fish. Because I've just found that little hole, and on a munted lure, like, check it out. Um, um, I'm still getting them. <laughs> Keep this lure going, see how far we can actually um, take it. And uh, yeah, I'll just keep flicking this hole. Oh! Right on the bottom, man. That could have been anything. Wow, slam. Yep. Better fish, maybe. I get back to the fight in a sec, but a uh, sick little bit of advice that I um, figured out because it happened to me so many times this trip 
If you get a little whack while you're hopping it up, don't keep jigging it up. Let it sit, and then I can guarantee on the next set of hops you'll actually hook them. So yeah, just a little tip. How insane is that? Like, like a completely munted plastic, and it's still going strong. Little big eyes just cannot resist. Back out there, we got no tail, one leg, ripped body, exposed side of the jig head. Oh my god. Very next cast. Completely cooked plastic. Like, just done plastic. And this will just be another little big eye. Ooh, hang on. That's not a big eye, that's a little G, hell yeah. Oh, that's sick as, man. All right, so now we got exposed hook, no legs, no tail. Little G wanted it. Very next cast. Off he goes. Come down to Woods Bay at high tide. Just jig these boats. Nah. Don't cast onto the boats though. So sitting in five meters, there's a tiny bit of stuff on the bottom. I'm not really sure what it is, but it could be like a dew or two. I'm moving really slowly, so that's why the marks are so long. So, I'm just tied on a freshie. Hang on, I'll just finish him up. So, I've just tied on a fresh one. Because that's really what I trust for the Jewies. Because they're a bit more um, <laughs> picky than fired up baby Trevally. Um, I'll wax some um, scent on him. This is um, the prawn juice available on James's website. So I reckon we'll have a pretty with this bite window that's happening. If there is stuff on the bottom there, I reckon we'll have a pretty decent chance at getting them. Oh my god, you're joking, man. <laughs> you can't escape these things, eh? I'm just slowly hopping it along the bottom and boom. Right, I know there are lots of little trevs here, so I'm really going to work hard to just do two little hops and keep it as close to the bottom as possible, moving as slowly as possible, so that... The little Trevs aren't, you know, getting too G'd up about it. I really want a little Dewey on the bottom to just slurp it up. Oh, what? Oh my god. Is this on? It is. Oh, you guys saw that. I was just winding up. 
Then the Tyler grabbed it. Get in here, son. It's not a bad fish, it'd be 50. Nice 45, 43 actually, probably. Um, Taylor on the three inch, the prawn quarter ounce TT chick head. I was literally uh, fishing into a little school of dew and I was just burning the plastic back up to the boat and he smoked it. Anyway, here we go. Here he goes. Yeah, you guys saw that. That actually gave me a pretty decent fright. I was just winding up, hey. You know, he didn't decide to eat it when I was working the lure properly. He just decided to munt a brand new, just another the whole prawn. Oh. And he decided to eat it when I was burning it up. God, you know what? I'm actually getting a little bit sick of these Taylor, man. Uh, prior to this trip, I had only ever caught one. Um, and now I've caught like heaps here. And every single time you get one, they break your really nice lure. It's kind of bloody annoying actually. Literally gone through an entire packet of whole prawns in one session just because the fish have been hammering them that hard. This is a prawn I retired a while ago before I realised how effective they are after they're broken. So I've whacked him back on because, <laughs> bloody hell, the fish have actually just been hammering them that hard, eh? Like, it's been a very successful and fun sesh. It's just also been a bit expensive, eh? Anyway, I bought the things to catch fish and I caught fish on them, so I can't really be complaining. Barra rarely eat three inch profiles. And a broken one of these fooled a Barramundi in southeast Queensland the other night. Literally right here, like I'm not even kidding, it was on this boat, so we'll see what happens. Obviously landing one would be um, kind of cool, but this boat has ropes on most of its corners. Oh, are you kidding me, man? Straight up. This is no barramundi, <laughs> telling you that much, but it's a trap of some sort, I bet. Yeah, bloody hell, man. Spanking them today. Big bait school coming under right now. Show you guys that on the sounder actually. Oh my, dude, like, I'm just trying to show you guys the sounder, eh? <laughs> oh no. It's a tailor. Anyway, you guys are just gonna have to trust me. Big cloud of bait fish on the sounder. It's I wasn't even doing anything. I was just dead sticking it, trying to bend it. <sighs> anyway, give me my jig head back, please, mate. This might be a better fish, actually. Yeah, I think it is. Taylor go hard, but this is gone. Oh, he's got a he's got a shark bite in him. Wait, hang on, let's see if we can live bait him. There's a I think there's a bully on the sounder. Let's see if we can live bait this one. Oh, Alright. Same Plucky taking another victim. 
This guy's probably like 52, I'd say. No, oh, actually, probably about 50, but yeah, on the three inch again. He's actually got a shark bite on the other side, so I'll get him back. Big shark nibs in inside, eh? Off he goes. Cast in here. Cast in here. Oh, heaps of little big eyes. Have you guys had much luck? Kinda, it's kind of um, gone a little bit quiet. See, oh, my, there's like 50 behind it. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. As you can see, I was just heading up river after that. Woods Bay kind of quieted off. Um, you know, in the AFN podcast, uh, Fipsy reckoned that in the middle of the day, the bigger fish headed up river. So Bart called off at the lower river, so I headed up river. Um, I was charging the GoPro battery in the boat at the time because it was flat, so I couldn't actually record these fish. I'll show you what I caught. Um, it's a pretty sick fish, I reckon. Uh, then I just headed further up river. Charge, uh, GoPro was charged, but I didn't click the record button in time. Still caught a bit of that fight, but yeah, I'll show you all that footage now. That was a sick fight, man. Such a tank of fish. Big Brucey. Off he goes.
got this species question mark? Yes. Yes, it is. There he is, guys. Diamond Trev. It's my first ever one. Actually, foul hooked him in the side. I was jigging and I bet he swiped out of such a sick fish, man. Check that thing out. Anyway, guys, I bet sharks are around the boat right now, so I'm just gonna give him the old, and off he goes. There we go. That way, mate. There you go. Thank you. Anyway, guys, I didn't realize this video was gonna be so long. My apologies about that. Um, if you wanna stick around and see a pretty cool jack that I caught, um, yeah, just stick around and put that after this. Um, but yeah, so obviously I caught quite a few fish, which I'm just so stoked at, man. On several lures, but mainly that um, three-inch hulk productions uh, swim prawn in the prawn color um, with the one-quarter TT headlocks jig head. Um, bit of a killer combo, man. Uh, as you can see, it works pretty well. 12-pound uh, J-thread fluorocarbon leader and 8-pound uh, that die J braid grand yeah that stuff yeah so obviously um if you're at noosa and you've got a full moon and a high tide uh make sure you head over to woods bay because it obviously um gets quite productive uh yeah so i'll just show you guys that clip now pb jack 46 47 kind of hard to tell but yeah sick fish man yes check him out woods bay jack baby Off we go. What a sick fish, man. <laughs> Why do I look like such a monkey in all the pictures I take of myself? <laughs> I need to figure that out. Oh my god. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys sticking around for the longer videos. Please subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, I hope that helped you guys out. Quarter ounce jig head, whole prawn, full moon, full tide, up at Noosa, Woods Bay. You'll slay them. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. See ya.